hello everybody and welcome to a new video and um, a new collection uh, it's the art crush number 31 already unbelievable um, in this collection well first let, let me tell you something about the colors I saw first the colors we got uh, for the lily pad to do the um, the collection for um, each month the uh, um, how is it called? Build up, build your own collection. That's the name. <laughs> and I thought, wow, red, um, this mustard uh, sand color pink. I don't know what um, I shall create with that colors. Um, then I had an idea. And this is what I um, came up with. Um, I'm blown away. My CT is blown away, and you will um, be blown away from um, from the layouts they have created. So, just only a quick um, check here the, of the the previews. We have an awesome set of out of the box templates in a 12 by 12 and um, letter size. Then we have um, a huge pack of. Um, cards you get with quotes flowers and also you get um, solid ones and then you get those modern art line art um, cards as well and you get um, the one with the words on it they are two versions with and without words arts bits and pieces another pack with bits and pieces the cards and a huge pack of papers. Well, my girls f freaked out when they saw, when they um, checked it out. So this is the quick preview, and let's see what the girls did with um, all the um, products here. So these are the grid templates um, I have created with a lot of stitching. Here we have some artsy um, layouts. This is also awesome. I love this um, space she have she has left left here. My English is so bad. I don't. I'm so sorry. Um, then we have this one. Um, I really love um, how she used here also papers here with the. To, to fill the, the spaces here with uh, in the grids and um, here's an artsy one and the, the combo you can see that you can create with this collection really artsy um, layouts and of course you can um, use them for your project life um, pocket page styled um, layouts as well with an artsy twist so uh, this is another one um also here this girl is not um included and then we have this one the hands are here on a paper which you will see later so stunning stunning i'm really i've really now looked at the layouts for about an hour and I did send them to a friend because I was so stunned by all the work my girls did. And my team grew so much. I have now um, about 21 creative team members. We split them up into the artsy stuff. And then we have the girls, they work with the easy peasy grid templates. Um, well, I made also one. Here's one, but it's little bit simple also here another one so these are all the layouts and let's jump directly into the folders we have the artsy bits and pieces pack which is a um, huge pack with a lot of artsy bits and you have this gold sand tone here with reds and mustard mustard seems to be really the color for the autumn this year and I also added here some gesso paper pieces 
um, so you get a huge pack with really only artsy bits. Um, I split that up again into two packs because they there are customers who really only love to have those artsy bits and um, other customers like um, to have such um, realistic um, elements as well. So this is what you get and always a, a shadow version like that one. And I have some dried um, greenery stuff in it, all with this kind of realistic shadow, this one. And then we have some dried roses as well. This one, totally different in red and pinkish. And we have some paper flowers everything with a realistic um, shadow version and then we have those texture buttons out of um, pieces of texture this one is also pretty cool I love that frame and then we have this one paper some jeans patches and of course you get some art um, some magic lights and with hearts and then we have some quotes um, in this type style um, here we are I really love quotes um, if you if you follow me on Instagram you can see that because I post now every day um, a nice quote I really love to do them maybe we can check that out later as you love yourself life loves you back the moment you accept yourself you become beautiful I really really love them and these are the quotes you get 18 different quotes here and then we have some strings and then we have some ink scribbles doodles and flowers different kind of um, scribbles loops stars and I really like to create like to create those um, kind of word arts here they look a little bit blurry but that was the intention I don't want to have it too harsh because it shall have this vibe of of um, vintage and this is what you can reach when you when you a little bit blur something so it's not much but a little bit oops what happened Oh, let, let me, let me date. Uh, I know what, mm -hmm. I know what the problem is because I have updated them already in the um, files because there is no dot here be, before the PNG and that makes the whole thing going crazy and there's another one date two so we're gonna fix that so if you ever have a problem maybe from a designer that uh, you can't open a, f uh, a element or anything like that check out if before the the ending the png is a point a dot and if it missed you can add it and then the, the file should work. Look at it. This is a little bit of a trick. <laughs> so we have here details and always you get um, two versions. You get uh, the sticker version and then, then you get the transparent version as well. So you can place anything behind if you want or that sticker version really um, gives you the opportunity that you that you can read it on top happy thoughts okay morning 
I don't know why it is blinking. You will not believe what I did. I added a new um, um, SSD to my um, iMac now. Totally new. It's now updated. I got it back yesterday evening and everything is new installed. So the computer runs now smoothly, hopefully. But um, <laughs> what happened today when I um, started the, the, my iMac, there's a glass front in front of it and it popped out and fall um, towards me. So I could hold it and glue it with um, some duct tape on it. Okay, these are the um, bits and pieces pack. Lots of word arts, quotes, scribbles, um, stars, pieces, whatever in this pack. And all together you get 142 elements, including the shadowed version as well. So also a huge pack for you to create your pages. Max pack are the cards. Um, two versions um, or two styles, let me say it that one, is this modern um, line art, is it called? So um, totally simple, I would say, but with a little bit of kind of artsy style, not much, but a little bit. It's so contemporary art, maybe. So I like that one. Fe very feminine with um, kind of abstract flowers here we have and you can see here I have to also to version if there is a word um, a card with a word on it I added for you um, a solid one another solid one one with and without the word art so you can see that here sense and without the word motivation with and without and so on i really like that one with the back of this woman it's, it's naked but i really like like it so if you want to create a feminine page about something about you or anything like that maybe you like to use that one a face we have here with and without here as well and here now starts the second style you always get um, these cards in three by four inch um, and they have all white frames um, such um, like cut out and some are with words on it they are a little bit hidden you can see here is bliss here is it more visible, beautiful, strong. And then we have also one with a quote. These are the quote ones. We're flipping through quotes with um, flowers here, without. And then we have some solid ones. You can use them wherever you want and place your text on top of it. So this is a quick overview now. These are the cards. Um, you get only the three by four version here. Um, I didn't do a squared version because it didn't look pretty nice. And um, that's why I stayed here with really only the three by four um, version of the cards. Um, of course you can cut or um, change the size if you like. For that you can go to Photoshop and go to canvas size and you can change here into a square size if you want to keep the um, upper part. Click on that so you have your squared file. But 
don't for, you you need to take care that you don't save now because then you your card is lost um the three by four always make a copy if you like and then resize it um how you how you like it okay so these are the cards and now we go into the papers the papers were the first part of this collection i've created and i couldn't stop and it was um very creative and um, very inspiring um i thought it's a little bit something different what i do um usually um this the combo of this contemporary artsy um line art with doodles and whatever the the, the different kind of styles um was really um, i really love to create this collection even i really had problems in the beginning with the colors but it worked out so nicely so this is the result um one of the girls for example they they really took um pieces of the papers and um use them as cards in their grid templates um there are really you you can use almost each part of the papers um in the for the grid templates they will come up love that really really like them and then we have some i don't know why it blinks oh it stopped these are the pattern paper heavy repeating seamless mm. I don't do them very often, but um, I think they work perfectly with uh, the other elements and papers here. This one I like. It's like a retro uh, wallpaper from the 70s or, or kind of that. That one. When you go in old houses, you can see such... Um, kind of wallpapers and then we have the solid ones here different solid papers just painted and color on top a little bit of watercolor dark part here's also watercolor huge huge pack i don't want to have that so so you get all together six artsy 12 by 12 papers you get letter papers um seven seven letter papers then we have a huge number of pattern papers you get 18 pattern papers and then you get nine solid papers in this pack so you are really covered and now we go into the Actually, they were the start of this collection because um, I, I found something out on my iPad how to create such, such grids on, um, with an app. Um, and when I stayed at home now, it's about six weeks I was at home um because we don't work much at the agency at the moment and so that's why i stayed home and i uh, tried out a lot and this is what i found out and um creating those grid templates is so fun um i think you all know meanwhile the easy peasy series what i have started in the beginning of the year now and this is the artsy version of the easy peasy and i think i really loved and i had so much fun to create them and then when you see the result what my girls the creative team did with them it's just breathtaking and they are totally easy to use and um of course you get them uh, in in um two different sizes so you have them with um these are the eight by 
um, or the letter letter size papers here, or the letter letter size templates, and the same one you get as a p as a twelve by twelve version, and I have added a PNG files as well, so you get all the PNGs to place um, on top of each other by your own, and. Also, what you meanwhile now get is a page file. The page file, it's over here. Um, I can't show you because I don't have this program they work with, but um, you get all the page files here for this and also for the um, letter size templates as a page file. So page file, PNG file, um, and PSD file with layers. Um, I think I covered now a lot of um, new customers' wishes. I've a lot of girls told me they like to work with my um, templates and um, they only can use PNG files or page files. So here they are. Um, I try to always now add PNG and um, page files to my templates um, in the future because I also here I build up a team they help me to create those files okay here we go so let's play with one of those um, grid files templates uh, Okay, problem is now that I don't added now my pixel. This is what I still not have added. Let's see. Um, Blumen. I'm talking now a little bit in German. So these are my Spain photos. So I'm, I use that one. Okay. Um, we go to the cards firstly. Na, bridge cards. So let's start with uh, maybe, 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 baby. I really love that one. Copy. And we go into the scratch, we click on it, paste, we move that here, we scale that, and we can clip that one here on. And then we go to the, the photos should be here. Mm, now I need to find a proper photo fast I think I first go that and then I'm using these we clip it and we scale that okay we can move this flower we can flip it so it doesn't disturb here and then we add here on this gray only a paper because it's only for decoration copy and we click on that clip it and we move that and we scale it make it a little bit smaller and now we have that one. So let's see what we can add here on this huge um, skyscraper kind of um, placeholder. Let's go back to photos. It's not really sexy to to to, to show here the my footies. Maybe that one. I. I just don't look very much on if the the um, 
photos ma match just with the theme. I only want to show you how easy it is to work with um, these kind of grid templates. So we have that one. I think the blue is not bad. Okay. Um, Spain. Um, pomegranate flower. My dad's garden in Spain. He's totally proud on that. Yeah, he buys. And what we can do, we go back to the cards and maybe we, 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 <laughs> is, I hope it's not always so boring when I play around and um, that you think it's what Nicole is talking really sucks. So here is the last one and what you can do is also, of course you can add artsy bits, copy, paste, you have this great background, make that smaller and turn it a little bit, I really wouldn't no, I like it when it's out of the box here. Yes, we leave it. And then we go to the word arts. <laughs> Hello, wild and crazy. We should use that one. Okay. Place it here, make it a little bit smaller. Place it. Uh, my. Uh, whole settings don't work how I want to, but that's okay. Okay. The green is a little bit disturbing, I think. Maybe we should make that a little bit bigger. The blue is working, but the green, I don't know. And we add here some, one of those. Oh, going back. Here we are. it when it opens here as a let's show don't like that mm. I can't work like that again we open that one copy paste this one we close that one here is my tip I should have drink really before the video uh, Ramazzotti I talked about with a friend because she she said she just drink one and I told her that I can't drink one now because I want to record a video and if I record a video and had an, some sips of alcohol before you would not understand anything 
with my English. It's oh, already forget the words. Mm. You are worthy. I like to have that here. We we need here something, right? We go to, back to the cards. Maybe one of those ones with the quotes. Copy, paste, and then we go here. We add that here. Make it smaller. As you can see, it overlaps now. It's not, that's not bad. You you told you can feel really free with adding everything. This is how it looks like when I clip it. It's also good, but the word needs to be. Okay. It looks really cool. I want to try something. Just why is it? The new Photoshop really is because the image with those smart objects it did cut it that's weird okay well so i want to change the blue for that i'm duplicating the photo itself command j and then we go to image adjustments we go to replace colors and we pick the blue and then we can go on hue and increase here <laughs> so that's pretty cool you get a um, gradient here maybe that one okay so before after I'm gonna save that one and this is how it looks and now it's everything like monochrome. I'm done. And I think I really like it. I don't have a text here. I'm really not a, a good journaler because it's it's so hard for me to, to write a text. I always think my life isn't that much um interesting that i can put it into words so journaling is really not my thing and i think it's really um hard to do so let's go back here to the bits and we go in bits here okay i need to change that with this Makes me crazy. Okay, a little smaller. I really love that. It turns out really great with that. Shadows also. <laughs> when we add that one, what happens? Copy, paste, <laughs> resize that one. I don't think it's. <sighs> really love that one just adding it here top of it it, it you can see it slowly it really gets artsy and nevertheless you have this grid and it stays somehow in place you have still um a kind of frame nevertheless with the layering of the elements you really reach um this grid feeling.
feeling. It's so fun. Maybe date, copy, close, date. We add that here. And you're just on the corner here. A little bit higher. And then we go into here. I think that was November. November. Um, 2000 and um, we have now 20 then what is that 16 and we change here the size a little bit a little bit smaller and middle go to we use such like from a biro is a biro the right word okay blue pencil is something else <laughs> you wonder really when I'm talking just okay oh that's too much it's too much to, over here November and we can add here. Oh, didn't, didn't. Oh. Let's see if I can install it quickly. Bureau. <laughs> hmm. No, don't have it. Oh, it's on the other hard drive. So we use that one. Spain. Don't place it too accurate just underneath. Just have a little bit of a um, out of the grid. That makes it more realistic. As you used a uh, a real typesetter. Here we are. This is the ready created layout now. And um, as you could see here in the demonstration, it's so easy to use this kind of um, templates. And um, you only need to drag and drop photos, some artsy bits, word arts, and you are done. And um, you also don't need to do a lot of journaling because with the cards and the quotes, you get this kind of vibe of a uh, journaling and um, it's not um, too much to do. Okay, layouts, I'm gonna save that in here. Okay, here we are. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope it was now not too boring just the last part of this um, video and I gave you some inspiration um, how to use this product and I'm so proud of this collection I it's really love it and I hope you love it um, the same way I do and um, if you have any questions like always I say that uh, join the Artology group you can find a link in the download folders. Um, you can join me at um, Instagram. This is what I wanted to show you. I am only not Instagram. So, yes, this is it. NBK design. I didn't don't need to be locked in. Oh. Here we are. This is my Instagram feed. So you can join me here and um, how I said, how I told you before, a lot of nice <laughs> kind um, quotes I have almost each day and some stories you can see 
from my private life you can find no forget it go why is that I don't want to let me scroll okay um I need to find out uh, my login forgot it I guess no it's not um, saved in here okay <laughs> this is my Instagram um, my YouTube you can join for a lot 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 of other video and inspiration you can join the archaeology group you can join my newsletter of course you can visit me at my um, lily pet shop um, but if you want to always if you never want to miss any um, a sale or anything the archaeology group and of course my um, NBK Facebook group this is just the right place one moment there is a lot of stuff going on here so this is the Facebook group and also you can join this one and you never will for, uh, miss um, any sale news we have challenges each week um not each week twice a month two challenges each month now it's <laughs> that's the right one okay okay um i hope you enjoy this video and i'm sorry for my stumbling around today a um, little bit tired because last day were hard and uh, I always say that in the videos that's actually totally stupid but um, I was six weeks at home and now I'm I'm working the third week and it's like um, like always it's um, nerve-wracking <laughs> let me say it this way but I'm working on other projects other product product for the easy pc and um we're gonna see us sure in another video so i'm gonna stop now talking um bye <laughs> have a happy day mm -hmm.